Saturday and then um, Pro Ski Mod on Sunday. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a different Havasu this year. Definitely a um, bit of a bummer, huge bummer not having all the international guys being able to come over. Obviously some of them were able to make it, but not a lot. But uh, you know, obviously at the same time, I'm really happy we're racing. We needed to go racing. This COVID-19 thing has is, is really put a bit of you know, massive damper on the whole world. And uh, I'm happy that the IJSBA still pulled this event off and that we're getting to go bang some bars and, and get the show back on the road. So uh, definitely disappointing, you know, for me, after all the years that I've been doing this, um, I love racing the top guys. Like I don't go to races um, wanting an easy race or uh, you know less guys on the line. I want tons of guys, the best riders, and um, yeah, this year obviously the field's going to be a little bit thinner than normal, but there's still a lot of top guys. And the defending world champ Cole Kramer, uh, he's racing, so um, Cole's going to be a beast out there, and uh, I look forward to to racing him hard, and uh, we're going to see where we shake up. Um, Tyron's going to also hopefully be out there. Uh, for him, it's been a little touch and go because uh, they're expecting their first baby. So his wife could go into labor literally any time during this weekend's racing. And um, so for him, he's gonna be kind of shooting in the last minute unless the baby's come already. You know, he'll hopefully be to get in and get out and do hopefully Saturday and Sunday's races. So uh, that's, what, that's what we're hoping for. So I got the two skis in the van and uh, the guys have already got everything set up at the races for us so uh, we're coming in hot and uh, yeah really excited my gp1's been riding you know flying as always and uh, i'm ready to go so yeah gonna be a different world finals but at least we're racing and uh yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes i'm gonna give it 100 percent as always i don't know i don't think you know if uh I don't know about if, if anybody should call themselves a world champ after you know whoever wins this thing, but uh, it's going to be a hell of a race either way, and uh, no matter what, it's going to take a lot to win this thing, no matter who gets it. So uh, yeah, let's go. I'll take you guys along the along with the trip, and you can guys can see how it all goes down, the good, the bad, the ugly, and uh, let's get it on. Have a suit. Let's go. 2020. That thing's bad. <laughs> That's sick. Well, it does do what he was supposed to do. <laughs> is he was supposed to pop the back window down. So, how's it going? Very well by yourself. Good, thank you. I mean, he was supposed to pop the back window down because if you take a look at the speaker box at the back of this thing, it's all wood grain. Oh, so nice. So that was the theme that we were going for, was to be able to match the wood grain to Woody, as we call it. Dry. 
surprised me. One of the things that's been a factor thus far during the World Finals is that we set our, as you know, very popular line. We are having to deal with the stuff that we've been taking right to the pump. That's been one of the things that has been an influence on the World Finals. Let's start with the color of the table. There you go. on the track.
seventh place, Julian Boumet in eighth, Ian really. Roberts ninth. Who you are? They're gonna remember in about so like is a out few minutes. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 